Now, uh, the next one is 1267. Now, this is very important. This is often also asked in the bar in, in my own examinations. This is now the effect of relative impossibility. This may be similar to partial loss. If you are talking of an obligation to give veto, there is partial impossibility of the fulfillment of an obligation to do. So that is in Article 1267. So this, uh, when uh, it tells us, when the service has become so difficult as to be manifestly beyond the contemplation of the parties, the obligor may also be released therefrom in part, in whole, or in part. Okay, so here there is no total impossibility. It's not impossible. It's possible but has become very difficult. So this is what we refer to as the relative impossibility. This is commonly known also as the doctrine of unforeseen events. Huh? Unforeseen events. But there are other uh, terms of which this doctrine is referred to. So might as well just enumerate them for you. But you will find them also in the PowerPoint presentation, the second uh, PowerPoint I, uh, I uh, uh, allowed you to reproduce. So aside from doctrine of unforeseen events, it is sometimes known as the theory of imprevisibility, theory of lack of basis, all right? The, the, the theory of lack of basis is also referred to sometimes as the doctrine of frustration of enterprise. So, if it is asked of you, what is doctrine of unforeseen event? What is doctrine of uh, frustration of enterprise? What is the theory of imprevisibility? What is the theory of lack of basis? It all merely refers to Article 1287. That is the relative impossibility, difficulty of performance. So, here, uh, please take note that uh, this would be applicable only in the following requisites were present. Number one, the event or change of circumstances could not have been foreseen at the time of the execution of the contract. Number two, it makes performance extremely difficult, not impossible. Number three, the event must not be due to the act of any of the parties. Number four, the contract is for a long period of time or for successive performances okay so this should be present these requisites so as we could apply this doctrine of unforeseen events so anong nangyayari dito may kontrat ang pinasok ka okay uh, under certain set of circumstances with the thinking that these circumstances will continue on and change for the duration of the effectivity of the agreement. Unfortunately, there come now some changes which now never was contemplated by you or the other, making it not impossible for you to fulfill your obligation arising from the contract but makes it extremely difficult for you to do it brought about by that change in circumstances yung supervening event na yan. right now the first thing that you have to know here is that when you talk of difficulty of fulfillment of the obligation it is not limited to physical difficulty no difficulty may also refer to instance when such performance would place one party at a disadvantage position 
by the unforeseen event. See, when you enter into a contract, especially if it is a business or a commercial agreement for that matter, obviously, you will always be thinking of your own personal interest. Circumstances will be taken into consideration, that is, the present. So, considering the present circumstances, okay, there are stipulations, and you feel and believe that it is equitable, it is fair. So, you have this obligation, you have this obligation. So, you proceed with it. It is for a long duration. Unfortunately, during the life of the contract, an event occurs that changes the circumstances. This time, it makes it so difficult for you now. Not really difficult to fulfill it physically, but to be asked to still fulfill would utterly be unfair already to you. Oh, inequitable. Now, never did you contemplate on. Hindi na patas. Okay, so that will also be considered as impossibility of the not impossibility but difficulty in the fulfillment of the obligation to do see all right now this was illustrated maybe uh, 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 during our time uh, professor Rado gave us this illustration so I will give you also the same example Rado gave us then